This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm gonna to talk about what to do if you broke your wrist. So there's different parts of the wrist you can break. Most people, when they say wrist fractures, actually what they broke are their distal radius, the end of your forearm bone. Sometimes there's a little fracture of the ulna as well. Um, but it can also mean the small bones of the wrist. So you have eight small bones of the wrist, and sometimes you can break one of those. Most commonly, it's a scaphoid bone. Um, so what do you do if, if you broke your wrist? Well, it depends on which bone you broke and how bad you broke it. So some people who break their distal, distal radius, it's not too deformed, meaning that it didn't really move too much and you can get away with casting it for about a couple months. Um, if your wrist moves at all, like it bends back or forward or it looks really deformed, you have, there's, there's two options. Well, you should go to the emergency room. What they can do is they can put it back in place and it may or may not stay. Um, if it doesn't stay or the fracture is in the joint or in too many pieces, then they'll recommend surgery, um, which you should do to not compromise your hand function long term. So if you let it go and, and it moves too much, sometimes it'll cause you problems long term or long term wrist pain. You know, even, anytime you break a bone, usually later on it, it'll hurt a little bit. Um, over the years it may, may not hurt so much, but it'll hurt for a while. Um, if you break one of your wrist bones, like let's say the scaphoid, that's the one commonly broken. If it doesn't move too much, which is kind of rare, again, you can cast it. And that one you need to cast for a really long time. That's like three months. Otherwise, they'll do surgery where they'll put a screw in there to fix it. That's usually what we do. Um, some people break it and don't realize it, and it never ends up healing, and then it causes uh, uh, wrist arthritis way down the line. There are some good surgeries we can do to fix that, but generally we like to fix the scaphoid if we, if we can. Um, the other bones in the wrist... Um, really don't break too much, so when they do, most of the time you can get away. It just depends on how bad they broke and, and what you did, but they're, they're pretty rare. So by and large, most wrist, wrist fractures are the end of the radius bone, the distal radius, or the scaphoid bone. Um, real of thumb is if they're not too badly, def if they're not deformed, then you can cast them. Uh, or otherwise, put them in place and try to cast them. Otherwise, uh, you know, you'll need surgery to fix them. Um, so I hope I was able to answer your questions about what to do if you broke your wrist. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. But note that I can't give you medical advice about your specific medical condition. Um, if you like this video, we put out new content every week, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.